Hello, and welcome back to Jersey Plays Final Fantasy IX. This is going to be episode three. Last we left off, our good friend Steiner here just uh, just found a couple of half-naked soldiers on their way to search for the princess. Uh, Mosh over here still has no mail for us. Let's go. Ah, uh, you can see I got a blanket behind me. I actually have a new mic, so fingers crossed there's less popping, uh, less problems with the, what, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but the, those sounds. Oh, today's show is quite extraordinary, you say. Hang on. Hmm. Can I? Today's show is quite extraordinary. Here, I feel like giving you this. So, so I thought you could only get the Moonstone if you impressed her and got the 100 nobles. Uh, apparently, you just need to get 100 nobles. Uh, cool. Thanks. Um, so, what that does is that's actually an add-on or uh, accessory, depending on what you want to call it. Uh, for Steiner, it teaches... Beast Killer for other characters, it teaches Shell. Now, do we have anything else we can actually... I'm pretty sure we don't. But, you know, we can do. Um, one thing you can actually do is uh, to go to the ability menu really quickly, you press square. And then you accidentally hit the wrong button. I'm gonna equip all three of these. So, Bird Killer just makes you do more damage to birds, Bug Killer does more damage to bugs, Beast Killer does more damage to beasts. Um, you can see in the corner, or on the screen right above where your ability list is, you have a number out of 17 for stones. So that's just how many stones you have that you have to distribute for your different abilities. So you kind of have to pick and choose. Um, it's kind of frustrating, because there are some really good abilities that you have to choose whether or not you want to have. But, hey. That's the game. That's Final Fantasy for you. Uh, if you go this way, you will see the sword fight area. Gotta love the sword fight. <laughs> Only took me 40 minutes to complete. All right, we're headed this way. So, depending on which direction you go, someone is gonna either run from the left or the right. So we're gonna go right. He's gonna run that way, we're gonna go this way. He's gonna come back. Oh, he didn't. Okay, we're gonna talk to him. This is another guy we have to talk to. Um, our goal is to get all eight of the soldiers uh, that are part of the Knights of Pluto. I guess they're knights, not soldiers. <laughs> um, so here we have Dojabon, uh, Pluto Knight number five. He's looking, he's already on it. Uh, we're gonna go to the right, we're gonna find Molenkaidim? Molenkaidim. Whatever. That was close. Aw, oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, you you and me both, bud. Wimps like you are the reason nobody relies on men in Alexandria. Bite the bullet, you worthless grub. Whatever, Captain. I'm so hungry. Yeah, you and me both, bud. Meanwhile. <laughs> we'll just uh, munch on something really quick. Mm. Mm. Oh, Alexandrian cooking is the finest in the realm. We had our friend Dojabon running around over there. We're gonna head to the left. There's not really anything to find over here, but we got this uh, dishmeister here talking about the dishes. He really likes uh, looking at dishes, apparently. Now uh, you got Onion Meister, who's gonna cry because he just can't handle the onions. Oven Meister just wants to heat, thi heat things up. Dishmeister came back in here. Egg Meister loves his eggs. And you don't have a name. Head Chef. Now is time you show skill, boys. That's gonna be the voice, just so you know. Um, this person's gonna be coming back soon. Not soon, but in a few hours. <laughs> um, probably in like six or seven episodes. A really a personal favorite. Um, there are only two things in the world: things you can eat and things you know can't eat. Uh, what's up, guys? Any of you have any information about the princess? No, of course not. She hasn't visited today. Where is the script of I want to be your canary that she asked for? Hmm. 
Kind of questionable, huh? Seems like there might be something going on here. This globe of Gaia was presented by the late king in celebration of her birth. Hmm. Interesting. I do wonder how the princess's royal tutor, Dr. Todd, is doing. Me too. He sounds like a really nice guy already. Here we have another knight. That's why we came in here, really. Uh, Laudo, who's really a writer type. Uh, he's not a fighting type. He's a, <laughs> a writing type. Um, he, he uses a lot of ghost type moves because he's a ghost writer. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see, I never wanted to be in the military. I just wanted to write fantasy novels. Captain, please, let me quit the Knights of Pluto. Well, you can leave. I really want to let you go, but now's not the time. Go find Princess Garnet. <laughs> Poor guy. He just wants to follow his dream. Don't we all? I head to the right. There's nothing in here except for some more guys, but you learn a little bit about something called uh, Eidolons, uh, which is the word for summons in this game. Um, Her Majesty ordered some texts about Eidolons, but we've got a lot of books here, you know. Yes, I do know. It seems very obvious. We haven't seen the princess today. Can we see any of these? I don't remember if I can actually, like, examine. It's been a while. Oh. There we go. Ice Cavern, Alexandria. A natural cavern, overrun with everlasting ice. Strange that they're telling us about that. I didn't honestly know that was there. The more you know. Anything else? I was thinking they were gonna show me like a book title that say it that said some of the Eidolon names. But you know. Uh, if you look in the background there you can see a lovely portrait of the queen. Right as we exit the castle. What? The play seems to be a hit. But if we fail to find the princess before the curtain falls, her majesty will be most displeased. And we will be the last thing stock of Beatrix and her retinue. I must hurry. You really must. We're gonna go to the right first. Now we got a friend over here. An unnamed soldier. Nobody has come this way either, sir. Weird. That was a weird voice you just did. I don't think he recognizes it, but we're not gonna question it. Sitting here watching the water always brings peace to my soul. Care to have a seat, Captain? Now is not the time. By order of Her Majesty, we must search for Princess Garnet. What? This calls for immediate action. Fair Princess, be not afraid. Hagen is on the trail. Feel my fury! And then he just starts running around. Um, it's pretty fun. Really. A new recruit here. Well done, uh, Missy. And we have a couple of other knights over here. Hey, let's go to Trino. Just the two of us. Hmm. Let me think about it. You there, stop that immediately. Go search for Princess Garnet. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know how to help you with that. I don't really have that problem, um, despite being hecka cute. Uh, no, no luck. Uh, we can't go this way yet, but we will eventually. Um, just not on this trip to the castle. Now it's time to collect our reward. Uh, we have one knight left to find, and he is Bryricht? Bryricht? I want to say Bryricht. Bryricht? I don't know. If it was if it was German, it'd probably be like Bryricht, because uh, of the EI. Um, I am so tired. Oh, oh. Captain Steiner, do you, you climb this exercise, this tower for exercise too? No, no, no. I'm searching for Princess Garnet. Is the princess at the top of this tower or not? Oh, I want to reach the top, but at my age, I get so short of breath. By the way, Captain, have we all received the order? Of course. All knights will obey. Hmm? Was there an extra one? Ah, so you've given orders to... The double super sleuths, Blutzen and Cole. And also, 
You've given orders to our most inspirational writer, Laudo. Loud, because he lauds things. <laughs> it's probably not the point, but I'm going to say it was a clever choice. Ah, so you've given orders to the most famous artillerist in the realm, Dojabon. And also... Ah, so you've given na orders to the only man who can name all the girls in town, Weimar. And also... Ah, so you've given orders to the knight for the knack for navigating the neighborhood, Hagen. Sure. And also, ah, so you've given orders to the winner of last year's cannonball race, Mulin Kedheim. That's my captain. Here you go, sir. <sighs> you gotta love those little, those little bits. Gotta hunch back over because he's still exhausted. <sighs> Fatigue rears its ugly head. No, I must persevere. The princess must be found. Now oh, what's that in the distance over there, bud? Wait! Over there! It's Princess Garnet! Being hounded by brigands! Fear not, princess! Your knight is coming! And very, uh, Garen here. Um, when you choose him, you know, fear not. I am coming. What what is this robe? What is this? Final Fantasy. Well yes. <laughs> Look at that white mage robe. This is maybe like my second or third favorite cutscene in the entire game. Um. <laughs> Every time. Ah, oh, there's a butt. Every time. Without fail, I love that part. Just hanging out. Huh? Where'd the princess go? Woo! <laughs> oh. You know, this way there's nothing going on. Nothing up here at all. You can feel the drum reverberating in your gut, can't you? Don't interrupt. What's up, friend? Hey, Zidane, what are you doing here? Do you have a request? Waltz, polka, anything. Nah. No. Well, I see. Wasn't she a pretty one? Whoa! What in tar nation? <laughs> Hold your horses there. What kind of cattle you chasing, darling? You should at least say you're sorry. Please pardon me. I was in a hurry, you see. And here I am. Get fixing to get ready for my big performance. Entrance, even. wonder what we're going to do here. Anything? Can I get anything in here? I never remember anything. Hey, Zidane, did you see the way she hit me? This cowgirl's wilder than a book and bronco. Just just let me talk to her, Ruby. Come on. Come again, partner? Did you hear what I was saying? Hey, Ruby, we'll talk later. Jeez. Chill. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. No, she finally stopped. Whew. Well, looks like you finally made up your mind. We really had to improvise, but hey, we got her. Do you, do you work on this theater ship? Ah, oh, so she figured it out, huh? As you have no doubt suspected, the truth is that I am actually Princess Garnet till Alexandros, heir to the throne of Alexandria. I have a favor to ask of you. I wish to be kidnapped right away. Huh? I, I don't... I, I mean... Princess, where are you? Please, they've come for me. Ah, <laughs> so that's what's going on. All right, leave them to me. Thank you. You have my gratitude. All right, then, your highness. 
I shall hereby do my best to kidnap you. <laughs> you figure he's got a wink at her at that point. Come on. He's a 16-year-old. He knows how to flirt, right? What are you two doing? Come this way. I don't worry, princess. It's my friend, Senna. Oh, really? I'm sorry. You startled me. Oh, uh, with a face, face like his, I'd be pretty shocked, too. Man, that hurts. I wash up every morning, you know. Princess, this way. All right, we'll follow you. Princess? Princess. Princess. Princess? 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 Where have you been? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Princess. Hey, Cinna, this is this is a dead end. <laughs> I thought this might happen. Open. Says me. So I set up this escape hatch. Princess. Come on, jump inside. The princess must be down there. Uh, I'll go first, sir. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Captain, sir, I'm stuck, sir. Oh, lost it. <laughs> he bought it. I don't know, dude. Just kind of making up the voices as I go. I forgot what they sounded like before. It was only one day. Wow. <laughs> You're really athletic, princess. I think I'm falling for you. This is nothing. I have been training to escape the castle, after all. <laughs> what a waste. If only you weren't a princess. We have no time for idle banter. Come, let us move on. What a proper lady. Right proper. <laughs> we turn the wheel to the left here. Um, it... Slows down the engine. Cinna comes by and yells at you for it. But you saw a treasure chest fall down right in front of where the engine is on the right, on the ground floor. If you reduce the engine's power, you'll crash the ship. Turn the wheel back to the right. All right, I'll turn it to the right. You meant, you meant to the right again, right? So if you turn it to the right, it speeds it up. And he yells at you again. But if you look, you'll see a treasure chest fall behind the, the engine on the ground floor. Hey, if you rev it up too high, you'll ruin the engine. Turn the wheel back to the left. All right, well, I got what I wanted out of this, so you can go away, Senna. Um, so this is a point where you can get two different dialogues with uh, the princess. If you talk to her before you go up to the door, she will say something here. What should we do now? If we go up here, she'll run up toward the door. I think actually you have to go down the stairs and to the right. Let's get the play over with and get the hell out of here. Go down here and she runs up toward the door. And then she's like, hey, let's go in the door. Or something uh, in a more princessy way. Here we get a phoenix down, and I think the other side is a phoenix pinion. Uh, pretty sure. Uh, phoenix pinion is also an equipable item, but I think it only goes on one character. Um, I could be wrong. Hang on. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, you know what? We're gonna do this. Actually, no, we're not. We're not gonna do that. Alright, she's not part of our team yet. Oh, right. I also have to not press the circle button to go back. Still remembering the new controls. Alright, so then we go down here, and she's like, We should withdraw into this room here. How do you know the ship? Maybe we shouldn't go this way. I mean, Senna thinks we should go this way too, but, you know. I don't think this is a good idea. For some reason. Ah, oh. Princess, I, Steiner, have come to your rescue. And you needn't worry, your highness. Good work. This will be remembered as the Pluto Knight's finest hour. <laughs> Just relax, princess. We'll get you out of here. What? You're not one of my knights. You can just... 
leave the princess to us. And then they fight. So you can get uh, two items from Steiner here. One is a silk shirt, and the other one I don't remember. I think it's like a potion or a high potion. Maybe an ether. And you only get three fighters this time, one of whom is the ever-popular Senna. Super useful. Uh, super strong. Oh, it's a leather hat. It's not a potion. Um, so you get a silk shirt and a leather hat. Whatever. But Steiner is not as strong as uh, Masked Man Baku. Oh, that's right. I just got the silk shirt. Don't know why I stole again when I got the silk shirt. There we go. The Mage Masher really helps. Uh, so then Steiner uses, I think this is technically Armor Break um, as an ability. Um, and then he literally breaks Blank's armor. <laughs> no! Oh, I hate all gloves. He's terrified. He's like freaking out. No, I hate all gloves. Our gloves are the worst. Get all gloves away from me. Now's our chance. Come on. Look at that distraction. I love the Oglop bouncing right into the front there, too. Um, that's always... I always get a laugh out of that. Oh, tonight I shall finally see my daughter Cornelia betrothed to Prince Schneider. And then Prince Schneider and his kingdom will be mine. Ha 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 ha. ha 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 ha. Your Majesty, we have got an intruder. Why, my poor Marcus? Hark, lad, no matter how much thou dost treasure Cornelia, no matter how deeply she might believe she doth love thee, never shall I see her marry a peasant such as thee. When yon bell strikes three, under the axe thou shall be. <laughs> what now? We can't go any further. Hmm. Sidane, get on number two. Okay. Princess Garnet, this way. Stop. Yow. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how, everyone, how good everyone's acting chops are now. Furthermore, Princess Garnet, guys, just improvise. Who? Oh, what's all this? Ah. Cornelia. Sorry. Cornelia. Um, Marcus is Cornelia's lover. Oh, Marcus. Ah, I have studied drama, you know. Okay, guys. Let's keep going. We're all still watching, after all. Salute. I still wonder, like, if they're doing, like, the... One of those symbol, One of those, like... There's, like, hand motions that you can do to, like, tell someone to F off or whatever. I feel like that's what they're doing. Oh, Marcus. I missed you so. I wish never to leave thy side. Prithee. Lead me from this place. Seeking Leo, thou shouldst give them thy blessing. Never. Never leave his side, thou sayest. Foolish banter, I'll not allow it. Cornelia shall marry none other than this man, Prince Schneider. Is that not so, Prince Schneider? M marry the princess, me? What? I and this traitorous crew I will put to death. Oof. Ow. Run away. Welp. Pray, sweet daughter, come home to the castle with me. Nay, father, I shan't return. Cornelia, trouble me no more. This wedding is for thine own welfare. Be mindful of that. Not if I can help it. 
Now is my moment of vengeance for my parents and for my love, Cornelia. I shall cut thee down. <laughs> no, Cornelia. Marcus, forgive me. I still love my father. Cornelia, princess. Prithee, forgive my selfishness, father. And spare my sweet Marcus. What have I done? Am I never to hear her loving voice again? Am I never again to feel her soft touch? O oh, cruel fate, thou hast robbed me of all I treasure. Oh, Marcus. Oh, my. This year's show is splendid. <laughs> Why did she have to die? Now, where could gone it be? Ooh. Wow, what a show. Y yeah, so sad. I'm glad we climbed all the way over here. How about you, huh? Uh-oh, look out. Stop you. Come back, trespassers. Oh, no, he fell. Fool, I'm out of here. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Fury, come back here. Gotta love the Fury guy. Forgive me, my daughter. Princess! Leave me alone. Stop. Come back here. Uh, don't come any closer. Oh, that's hot. And there goes the white mage robe. Zidane, it's time. Princess Garnet, let's get out of here. W what is going on? Steiner, don't follow me anymore. Captain, sir, we await your orders, sir. Mm hmm. Well, um, uh... Princess, I'm afraid I cannot comply. Stubborn as always, aren't you? Come on, Princess. Let's ditch Sir Rustalot and get out of here. Princess, wait! Hey, kid. You okay? E yeah, I just tripped, that's all. Princess, I cannot allow you to go. Seize them at once. So we haven't actually gotten a boss fight yet, um, technically speaking. Uh, we haven't heard the boss music yet, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it takes a while to get to the first boss fight in this game. Um, so we have Vivi here. He does black magic. He also has the ability Focus, uh, which allows him to strengthen his casts. Garnet is also a summoner, which is really cool. However, as you can see, she does not have nearly enough MP to use a single thing. She is also a white mage. Um, however, technically speaking, she is not the white mage. She is just your current white mage. Um, she is going to be part of the team for... The the entire game outside of when they split up the party um, but there's another character we're going to be getting much later who is technically speaking someone who fills the white mage role much better and more uh, holy uh, holy with a w h and two l's <laughs> um, and then Zidane and Marcus just have the SFX again. Um, they don't have any steel abilities, so we can't get anything from this fight. Oh. I didn't... Did I do that? Jeez. Oh. Bah! Only a flesh wound. Uh, wonderful shout out to Monty Python. And the, uh, the, the Dark Knight. Stabilizers configured. Good. Engine room's good to go. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're moving out. It's about time. Usually, I don't watch these cutscenes all the way through, so this is really fun. Um, so often, once I figured out that you needed to blitz through the game in order to get through, in order to get the Excalibur too, um, 
I stopped really watching the cutscenes, so I really miss out on a lot of the cool stuff like this. Um, so they're launching a bunch of stuff at us. It's really weird, you know, you have the princess on board, you have your captain of your knights, and yet you're launching gigantic spears at the ship. She's looking real pissed. Um, look at that, she nearly just killed her own daughter trying to stop this ship from kidnapping her daughter. Um, seems like we're gonna keep trying though. Um, looks like there might be something else she's planning to do though. She looks very angry. Oh, here we go. Here comes another cannon. Who knows what's gonna be launched this time. Um, a ball with a bomb. <laughs> this is also not our first boss fight. <laughs> Um, so this is a really fun fight. What you end up doing is you can only attack Steiner. He refuses to believe that there is a bomb behind him. And yet, there is most definitely a bomb behind him. Nope. Nope. How did I do that? Okay. No, no. No, 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 no. What the heck? How did I do that? There we go. Um, so that was on auto battle. I didn't know I could even do that. I did not want to do that. Wow. <laughs> Oops. So, this is a really fun fight though. Um, Steiner's just kind of being a, a poop. A butthead. He's being a little punk. Hey, look behind you! We're just attacking, whatever. I'll not fall for such an old trick. Steiner, please, behind you. Pew. God, Zidane is so strong right now. Um, this is one of those Final Fantasy games where you can really get a lot of good items for stealing, whereas in other games you really only get like one item when you steal, ever. It's a bomb! He's not falling for that. Come on. Let's go, Vivi. Let's get some fire in here. He's like, give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. <laughs> it's gonna blow! Hang on. No, that's wrong. It's gonna blow. I will not solve for such an old trick. But maybe you should have. Now, uh, now he knows. You hear that cat? <laughs> and I've never heard that cat sound effect before. Wow. <laughs> She's so happy, and yet, she failed. Here we fly. Kind of. We took some damage, but we're okay. Ish. And smack. There goes the engine. Well... At least if we crash, the princess will die, and the queen will lose anything. It's real mad. Oh, there goes her fan and everything. Really gotta work on that anger queen. We're almost to a save point, um, when, so I'll probably end the episode there. Although, mm, maybe not, because we're gonna have a boss fight too, um, pretty soon. We're gonna crash! Someone just drops down right before. Them. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing either. Wow. <laughs> Learning things. We're doing it together today. And gone it. I never imagined you would do such a thing. Perhaps you're not such a little helpless little girl anymore. Son! Don! Is our little experiment ready? Yes, your majesty, it is combat ready. Easily terminate Princess Garnet again, your majesty. I need her alive! Bring her back at once! I don't know how she got a new fan. 
I mean, I mean, maybe she just has a stock of them on site, but it seems pretty fancy. It seems kind of, kind of like they were bougie. I wonder how long this game has been recording. I don't know. I forgot to check what the uh, timestamps were because there's not a lot of. Uh, I I just I've been playing. This is really fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Ow, my back's killing me. Are you all right? Yeah, but the Prima Vista's wasted. Just our luck to crash into this forest. It's gonna get interesting. What do you mean interesting, boss? I hear no one's ever made it out alive before. Boss, there's fire everywhere. It's out of control. Well, quit your whining and get it under control. And get the wounded out of here. All right. Get our goods out of here, too. Weapons, items, anything we can use. There's no way we can survive if all our stuff is toast. I'm on it. Slightly different pitches. Is that enough to really differentiate voices? I guess so. Whew. I'm beat. Hurry up and put out the fire. I can't carry them all out by myself. What the hell are they doing? Their whole ship's gonna burn up. They're looking for Garnet. They can't find her anywhere. Maybe she fell off, got squashed under the ship. This is great. First we kidnap her, then we kill her. We'll hang for sure. Sedan, I'm surprised you made it. I can't believe you jumped off. You're nuts, you know that? I didn't jump off. I got thrown out from the impact. So is everyone okay? Yeah, we've all got the devil's luck. But if we don't find Princess Garnet, we're all dead meat. Active time event. ATA, Cooper. A active time event of the system that lets you see other events that are happening at the same time elsewhere, Cooper. Oof. Press the whatever button there says when you see the icon flashing below. You can press the, air, the button anytime while the icon is flashing. Try to pressing button, Cooper. The forest keeper. Time to see what happened to them. Wow! Are you alright? Is it still coming? Watch out! Seems like it is. Unlike me. Oh, bad jokes. Bad jokes. Children could be watching this. I don't care. Glad your symbol survived the crash too, buddy. Two hours and three minutes. So that's about a 35 minute episode? I want mail, Cooper. Of course you do, Moscow. Guess what? We don't always get what we want. That kind of sucks. Alright, so... I'm gonna end the episode here, and next episode we are gonna be starting a boss fight. Um, actually, two boss fights. It's kind of back to back. Um, so they 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 start you off with like zero boss fights, and then suddenly it's like, hey, guess what? Good luck. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. I know you made it to the end if you're seeing this part, so you must have liked it. Please, for the love of all that's good, please leave a like. Um, <laughs> share with your friends, share it with your family, share it with anyone you know who might like Final Fantasy and would be really appreciative of someone doing really weird voices the entire time and laughing and having fun and kind of trying to show you the ropes. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.